a couple years ago, I, I met Jordan for dinner when he was in Lexington. A few minutes into our conversation, he kind of got this look on his face, this little bit of a smirk, and he said, so there's this girl. Honestly, he really didn't have to say anything else because the tone of his voice and the look on his face said it all. And after meeting you a few months later, Caitlin, it really confirmed. I know exactly why Jordan felt the way he did that night. I will need an honor of your majesty Until my legs get weak Until my hair is gray I'll color all your days Color all your days So I am Kim. I'm Caitlin's sister and maid of honor. And I am so happy for you that you finally have a last name that people can pronounce. We have three brothers, Caitlin and I. She is my only sister. And when I was little, I wanted nothing more than to have a sister. For years, I had an imaginary sister. Someone that I shared a room with, and played dolls with, and could tell all my secrets to. And then one day, right before I turned 12, Caitlin was born. And I was so excited to finally have a sister. But it was so weird. As a newborn, Caitlin was not really into telling secrets or playing with dolls. And I realized that I was not gonna get the sister that I had always imagined. But as it turns out, the plans that God has for us are always so much better than the plans that we make for ourselves. Throughout our time in college, we shared a lot of life together. The highs, the lows, the good times, the bad times. Pretty much every emotion in between. But regardless of what was going on in life, Jordan's friendship remained constant. Caitlin picked this venue, Caitlin and Jordan. They couldn't have picked a better day. The, the first day of summer, the temperature is great, the venue is great. Couldn't have done better, and what a beautiful wedding as well. And I, I thank you for that. Winter day, long day, Monday, exam kicked my butt. I'm sitting in my room thinking about what in the world I'm gonna do after graduation. Then all of a sudden I hear footsteps, the keys, and the door open. And in those moments, when things felt rather bleak, I never once would have rather been alone. Because the moral of this story, whatever kind of day that you're having, your day is always better when, when Jordan is around. Jordan, we are so glad to have you as part of our family. And we are so thankful that Caitlin had the patience to wait for the one that God had planned for her. Someone who shares her values, who takes great care of her, and who makes sure that she knows she is loved exactly as she is.
Jordan, Jordan, I can't wait to see how the rest of your plan unfolds. No matter what comes your way, even if it, it is not as you always imagined it would be, have faith that whatever God has planned for you is far better than any plan you could ever make for yourselves. I love you both, and I wish you all the best. I hope that you relish in the little moments of hearing the keys at the door, regardless of what kind of day either of you have had, because I promise that such a sound merely marks the beginning of new memories and a good time. I love you both so much, and if everyone would please join me in raising a glass to Jordan and Caitlin, may God bless you as you start your life together in every way imaginable.